Hi, this is Dr. Tom Rogers at the Common Sense MD weekly podcast. I hope you enjoy this one. It's going to be short, but to the point. I was reading my Wall Street Journal this week, which I read every day. Love it. And I came across an article that talked about um, a new substance was found that an amino acid was found to slow the aging process. You know, when you read something like this in a Wall Street Journal, it kind of perks your ears up, especially somebody like me who studies and treats for longevity, health span. You know, we don't care much about your lifespan. We care about your health span, that period of your life when you feel healthy. Uh, So that's what's important to me and most of my patients. Um, So they talked about this amino acid that was found to increase longevity. So immediately I start digging into it. And it's taurine, you know, something I'm very familiar with and something you've heard about in energy drinks. You know, we usually think of taurine in something like Red Bull to give you energy, along with a lot of other bad stuff in Red Bull, so I don't recommend that drink. But um, taurine is a really interesting compound that that I take. And so I wanted to, to um, talk to you a little bit about what they found out about taurine. Um, it's And this study, again, was from a highly respected geneticist at Columbia University. And uh, he collaborated with other scientists all over the world to study this for the last 10 years. And so his article came out this week in the highly respected journal Science that I like to read. Uh, Very legitimate um, publication. Um, But as a matter of fact, I like science journal and I like sale. Those are two that I look at quite a bit. Very legitimate. Anyway, so he's been studying this thing for 10 years. And what he found was that boosting levels of taurine made mice and worms live longer. Also, monkeys were given this and they became healthier. Um, In humans, low levels of taurine were associated with age-related problems. We all know what they are. Um, They studied many molecules that decrease as people age. I mean, we we look at this all the time. Most things go down as you age, including hormones, but also a lot of your vitamin levels in your in your body and amino acids. Look at what happens to melatonin in your body decreases with age. So most things do, but they found out that. Out of all of them, there was one that went down dramatically, and it was taurine. In fact, 80% lower in the elderly than when you're young. Um, So they theorized that declining levels of taurine could drive aging, and that boosting taurine could slow aging. And that's what they found. And again, they collaborated with scientists all over the world and came to that conclusion. Um that it affected the health and the lifespan of every organism they studied, except for one, yeast. So, you know, you're not a yeast, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, Mice in particular live longer and appeared healthier. You know, we study a lot of things with humans and mice, very similar. Um, Taurine is an amino acid that is produced somewhat in the body, and is in certain foods. So um, it's present in large amounts in several of the body's organs. It concentrates in organs, especially the heart and the brain, two very important organs. Um, In fact, it accounts for over half the body's free amino acid pool in your body, taurine does, meaning it's got a big job to do. Um, However, Taurine is different than most amino acids because it's never incorporated into proteins. You know, we think of strings of amino acids incorporated into proteins, but it doesn't do that. It's used in other ways. Um, It's a semi-essential nutrient, meaning you can get it from your diet, but not if you're a vegan because plants don't produce it. That's another reason I don't like a vegan or vegetarian diet. Uh, particularly for most people. Some people do okay on that. Um, 
but your body also makes some taurine. Um, it functions as an antioxidant. It supports energy metabolism. It supports healthy gene expression. Um, protects against stress. Why is it in energy drinks? That's, you know, that's one question I had. Because it helps your mitochondria work properly. We talk all the time about mitochondrial health. That's one thing I'm big on. Because, again, most people that come to me are tired. That's the reason most people come to any doctor. Either they're tired or they hurt, but particularly they're fatigued. And there's a lot of reasons for that, but there's a lot of re things you can do for it as well. Um, so it helps your mitochondria. It definitely helps with energy and athletic performance. A lot of athletes definitely take this supplement. Um, but it also helps cognitive function as you age, especially with learning and memory. You know, in many ways, it acts like a neurotransmitter. Um, it's neuroprotective. We're all looking for that. It helps to metabolize carbohydrates and fats. In other words, if you ate a donut, it would help it metabolize better and get out of your system. Um, you should not eat donuts. It protects your retina, very well known as a good retina supplement. It increases your VO2 max, the most important measure of how fit you are. It supports healthy blood pressure. It protects your kidneys. It helps with congestive heart failure. It also helps cells balance their water content. Very important. And it helps the liver's production of bile. They, they, they actually found this from ox bile. So it's really good for your digestion. Um, it also helps insulin sensitivity. We all talk about insulin resistance. What we want is insulin sensitivity. So your insulin works better to control your blood sugars and prevent glycation. You know, a lot of weight is dependent on how insulin sensitive you are, how well that insulin in your body works. Um, so taurine is found in meat, seafood, and eggs. Um, you can also supplement it with it, which I do. You could safely take up to 6,000 milligrams. I usually recommend 1,000 to 3,000 milligrams of this as a supplement. Interactions, be careful if you're on the medical prescription lithium, not just the low-dose salt, but if you're on prescription lithium, there may be an interaction with that. I don't know many people on that right now. Um, so, also, if you're on a blood pressure medicine, watch your blood pressure because it will lower your blood pressure, uh, which is a good thing. It also lowers your cholesterol and your triglycerides and lowers that all-important inflammatory marker, C-reactive protein. So it's a safe, wonderful supplement, especially if you're tired. Just don't use it with Red Bull. Um, to get it. You can definitely supplement with this. And, and again, you can always eat better. Um, in fact, I'm probably going to add taurine to my Dr. Rogers energy formulation, along with the CoQ10 and the PQQ. I'm working on that right now. Um, I've, I've been looking for one more amazing compound to go in my energizing formula. So I think this is going to be it. So um, stay tuned for that. Um, you want to get all you can and make sure your mitochondria are functioning very well because energy is all about mitochondrial cellular health, those energy-producing parts of your cell. It's actually the brains of your cell, too. It's not the nucleus. It's, it's the brain of your cell, the mitochondria. It's so important. You can go back and listen to some of my previous podcasts on mitochondria. Um, so two things I talk about a lot are insulin resistance and mitochondrial function. You know, if you want to get down to it on a cellular level, uh, so you can be healthy. So there's a lot of things you need to do for energy. Everybody wants more energy, whether it be exercise, proper diet, sleep, stress reduction, but also these supplements really help. They help your brain, they help your heart, um, 
and they help your mitochondria produce more ATP, which is the source of all energy. So think about the supplement taurine. You'll probably want to add it to your regimen. Thanks. This is Dr. Rogers. I'll see you next week. Mm-hmm.